That same day, two of Jesus' disciples were going to the village of Emmaus, which was about 11 kilometers from Jerusalem. As they were talking and thinking about what had happened, Jesus came near and started walking along beside them. But they did not know who he was. Jesus asked them, What were you talking about as you walked along? The two of them stood there, looking sad and gloomy. Then the one named Cleopas asked Jesus, Are you the only person from Jerusalem who didn't know what was happening there these last few days? What do you mean? Jesus asked. They answered, Those things that happened to Jesus from Nazareth. By what he did and said, he showed that he was a powerful prophet who pleased God and all the people. Then the chief priests and our leaders had him arrested and sentenced to die on a cross. We had hoped that he would be the one to set Israel free. But it's already been three days since all this happened. Some women in our group surprised us. They had gone to the tomb early in the morning but did not find the body of Jesus. They came back saying that they had seen a vision of angels who told them that he is alive. Some men from our group went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said. But they didn't see Jesus either. Then Jesus asked the two disciples, Why can't you understand? How can you be so slow to believe all that the prophets said? Didn't you know that the Messiah would have to suffer before he was given his glory? Jesus then explained everything written about himself in the scriptures. Beginning with the law of Moses and the books of the prophets. When the two of them came near the village where they were going, Jesus seemed to be going further. They begged him, stay with us, it's already late and the sun is going down. So Jesus went into the house to stay with them. After Jesus sat down to eat, he took some bread, he blessed it and broke it, then he gave it to them. At once they knew who he was, but he disappeared. They said to each other, when he talked with us along the road and explained the scriptures to us, didn't it warm our hearts? So they got up at once and returned to Jerusalem. The two disciples found the eleven apostles and the others gathered together, and they learned from the group that the Lord was really alive and had appeared to Peter. Then the disciples from Emmaus told what had happened on the road and how they knew he was the Lord when he broke the bread. The disciples on the road to Emmaus did not recognize Jesus at first. It wasn't until he explained it to them that all the pieces began to fit together. Challenging things are happening in our world, and we don't always understand why. But we need to trust that God is at work and that he has a plan for everything. Please pray with me. Dear God, thank you that we can celebrate Jesus. Thank you for all he did for us and all that he continues to do. Help us to trust in you even when we don't understand what is happening. We know you work things for good. Thank you for your love. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen.
darkness into your light My heart surrenders to your design You gave me purpose, so I give my life I'm giving you all of me Out of the darkness and